Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Like I said, we're skipping Plo Koon. I have not received him as yet. So we're jumping straight over to number 110. Anakin Skywalker, in brackets, Padawan, um, from Attack of the Clones. Awesome looking artwork on the box there. That's Gregory Titus's art. He's done a great job uh, for this line. So many... So many pieces of artwork he's had to do for this. The figure looks pretty good in the box. Um, very much looking forward to opening this guy up. Uh, on the back it reads, A hero with the Clone Wars, Anakin was caring and compassionate, but also had the fear of loss that would prove to be his downfall. Interesting thing about that is, at the time of this figure, the Clone Wars hasn't happened yet. Um, well, the time of this figure's... You know, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but that's cool. Uh, looks looks reasonably decent. I'm looking forward to opening him up. So uh, let's go and get a close look. All right, here we have Anakin Skywalker from Attack of the Clones. Now, from the outset, I do have a couple of very very small gripes with this figure, um, but despite that, I really really like it. Um, been looking forward to uh, Episode Two Anakin to come in the Black Series line. I did pay a lot of money and got the SH Figure Arts one, um, which I think in likeness is probably a little bit better than this. Um, this one still looks good. Um, it's not quite exactly on Hayden, but uh, we'll get a close up look of his head there. In some lights it does, in others not so much. Like look at that there. That's that looks spot on there. Now that I'm looking at that, that looks good. Um, but on a front on angle, not so much. It's not too bad. It's a nice looking head sculpt. It's really well sculpted, looks great. Um, it kind of does, maybe not his stoic look, maybe he's a little bit more um, aggressive negotiations. Anakin here is a little bit more of a furrowed brow, um, is a little bit more battle intense perhaps. Um, so I'll roll with that. I actually like it. This will grow on me a little bit more. Um, now, for the most part, this figure is pretty much uh, reusing some of the same parts from the Revenge of the Sith Anakin, such as the top tunic. Um, that's all the same. Different colours, obviously. Um, this arm is the same. Hands are the same, obviously. This arm is different. They've given him a different arm there. Obviously, he hasn't had it cut off yet. Uh, he has a different belt and tabards down there. And just looking side by side here, looks like they've got the same, same legs and boots, but different enough. Now, the one gripe I do have with this figure is that Hasbro has completely forgotten the uh, soft goods underneath. Um, and it is absolutely 100% part of the outfit. Um, that's a little bit disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. Um, it's not going to be too difficult for me to whip something up. Uh, similar, I can sort of just pull up over his legs. Uh, that'll be fine, but it's a, it's a glaring missed part of this figure. Um, and I, I didn't notice it in the box. Didn't see it, but as soon as I pulled it out, I'm, yep, something's missing there. Um, so that's that was a little bit of a bummer. So... It's definitely there on the Revenge of the Sith version. But that's okay, we'll look past that for now. Um, now the lightsaber. Now he does have a very different lightsaber. Uh, this is, it feels to me um, like a slight retool of Darth Vader's lightsaber. Obviously it is very similar in appearance. Um, they were very, very similar in shape. His Attack of the Clones lightsaber that gets cut in half on Geonosis. Uh, is actually very similar to Darth Vader's hilt, but it is um, a pegging, pegging blade as opposed to Vader's being a uh, sort of pretty thick slide in. So whether it's a retool um, or a new sculpt, um, I'm not 100% sure. I will need to compare it side by side with Vader. So, uh, and it is quite a thick hilt too, um, which isn't a bad thing. Um, it, do, it just means it fits nice and tightly in his hands, which is great, because that doesn't always happen. But yeah, it's, it looks a little big. Not too fast. And the other thing is, there is the little hook 
on the lightsaber, but there's nowhere to hang it on his belt, so... Unless it does... No, it won't sit on that. That's, that's something else. I'm just looking at that little notch. But otherwise, I'm digging this figure. Um, the other sort of minor gripe I do have before I... <laughs> I don't want to make this about a gripe fest. Um, but the sort of colours of his tunic there are different from down the bottom. Like the, sorry, the tabards are slightly different. Um, but it's not a big deal. I'm, I'm okay with it. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to get some fun out of this figure. I wish there was some probably, I wish just wish there was a few more newer elements to it. Um, it will really top this figure off, but that's okay. So the articulation, ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, uh, ball hinged wrists, upper torso joint, ball jointed hips, swivel thighs, double joints in the knees, and ball hinges in the ankles. So there's Anakin Skywalker, definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Definitely appreciate feedback and everything. Thanks for watching, till next time. May the force be with you.